Hi there, it's Lon here. I'm preparing to preach for this Sunday, the National Day of Indigenous Prayer in Canada, and also the fourth Sunday in Pentecost. I, I'm really looking forward to it because these are important uh, days in, in our lives, I believe. And I want to thank those of you of the parish that have undertaken uh, to move forward, educate yourselves, shift your, your uh, perspectives around uh, reconciliation and truth-telling in Canada and in our churches. It's really important. We were told the other day at a workshop uh, by Indigenous Perspective Society, a facilitator named Rochelle, who really stressed and, and it reminded me that I stressed the same thing when we did the workshops around truth and reconciliation here in the diocese, is to give up the shame and guilt of the past and it doesn't mean to deny in any way, shape, or form. That's that's really important to know. But to accept those things, frame them in a way where we don't deny and we don't uh, blame the victims, but that we acknowledge that they've taken place, we do the truth-telling side of the equation, and then we move to the reconciliation side. And in my uh, thesis that I did called Walking Well Together as Church with First Nations, Inuit and Métis peoples, one of the things I stressed was, was um, finding ways to link this to our Christian faith. And it's all there. It's really evident in, in our, in our uh, sacred stories. And First Nations elders would tell us, would advise us to pay close attention to our sacred books and to our old stories. And, you know, if you look back in the Old Testament, you look in the New, you look at the Psalms, you look everywhere, it's, it's there. So as we, as we receive absolution and, and accept God's amazing grace and forgiveness for the past, and, and, and yes, if you hear that you're not, it wasn't you, it was people before you, it's still an institution that we're a part of and, and that we need to acknowledge the truth and, and just be honest. You know, it's not complicated. It's about being honest. So we learn, and uh, this Sunday, I hope that we can dig a little deeper and that we can look at how this all is involved in the stewardship of our churches, our properties, our, our uh, places that we love and, and pray in and, and worship and, and hold so dearly. Um, so as we come to Sunday coming, I invite you, uh, this is a response to call from God, a response to invitation from God to work and live with our neighbors well. So thank you. I look forward to seeing you. If you're not able to make it, God bless you and keep you. And may all of you be blessed today and always. Thank you.